Hello, this is Professor Stephen Nesheba, and I want to tell you a little bit about Lewis acid base theory, of which the general idea is uh, is that uh, uh, this uh, molecule called uh, an acid combines with a base. It's got a lone pair to form this uh, this resulting molecule, which is called an adduct or Lewis acid base adduct. That's what AB is, and this uh, the bond between them is called a dative bond, which is basically a covalent bond that forms when one atom the Lewis base has supplied both of, of the electrons for the bond. So uh, going on here then, um, here we're going to think about carbonic acid forming from the reaction of carbon dioxide and water as a Lewis acid base reaction. And uh, um, what we've got is a four-step uh, method to think about that, and that's what we're going to walk through. The first start uh, part is to draw Lewis structures of the reactants and then so on. So, drawing the Lewis structure of the reactants, here we go. There's carbon dioxide and there's water. And uh, and then uh, the next step will be to identify the Lewis acid in the base and the Lewis base. And uh, is uh, since I know that there's going to be a bond between that carbon and that oxygen, uh, there's really no uh, real choice here. Only the oxygen has a lone pair of electrons to uh, supply to form that bond. So. So therefore, the water is going to be the Lewis base. CO2 is going to be the Lewis acid. Next step is let's see how the electrons move to form the acid base adduct. So I'm I'm going to just lasso those uh, that pair of uh, electrons, attach it to the carbon, and if we're following the octet rule, that means uh, um, that a pair of electrons has to leave that bond and, and be a lone pair of electrons on the Lewis acid. And uh, now the fourth step was let's show the addict with the dative bond highlighted. So here this whole thing is the Lewis acid base adduct and, uh, and I've shown in blue the, uh, the dative bond and I've kind of shown uh, that here as well. Now, um, uh, so I've just labeled here data bond, data bond in both cases. Now, um, if we're thinking molecular orbital theory instead of valence bond theory, we wouldn't be thinking of a, a localized a bond, there, but there should be an orbital that in, has two electrons that is bonding between the carbon and that oxygen. And indeed, here's one, here's, a, here's one of those uh, candidate orbitals for that. And so we would maybe call that a data bonding molecular orbital. Now, in the case of this reaction, there is actually a second step. It's a, it's a rearrangement, and it's due to the fact that uh, uh, if you uh, look at the formal charge on that oxygen, it's a minus one. Formal charge on that oxygen is a plus one. So uh, what this uh, adduct will actually do is pull those electrons back onto that oxygen at the proton leave and attach it there to make what we recognize as carbonic acid. So uh, here's the summary of that two-step reaction. Uh, we have um, the reactants over here, carbon dioxide and water, uh, undergoing a Lewis acid base reaction to form the adduct, adduct, which has got this dative bond and these excess formal charges, which then it, uh, it rearranges to form what we recognize as uh, carbonic acid. And uh, here's just a couple of other uh, things, to, uh, possible Lewis acid base reactions to think about. And uh, here's uh, fluoride with the H3 and, and so on. And uh, one would go through the same process, uh, four-step process, to, uh, to uh, understand uh, how these reactions go uh, complete as Lewis acid base reactions.